Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It is 7.53 in the morning here in New York City, and welcome back to Mental Health and Makeup. Makeup and Mental Health is a series on my channel where I do my makeup while talking about various mental health issues. That's right, we're talking about our feelings, and today we're talking about my feelings and your feelings on photo retouching. Of course, your feelings will be left down in the comments down below and we can have a continued discussion about this topic because I would really like to hear from you. I have some pretty particular thoughts and I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are too. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then please subscribe and keep on watching. So the topic of photo retouching popped into my head yesterday because there was a post going around Instagram that a lot of people were sharing from an account. I believe her name is Marika, Mariska. I just followed her. She's a lovely makeup artist, but she posted a compilation of different red carpet photos of celebrities that were unretouched. And she said like, just want to remind everyone that this is what unretouched photos look like and like real people have texture on their skin. They're basically photos of your fave celebrities looking a little different than normal. I don't want to say they look bad because they honestly, they don't look bad. They all still look beautiful. They just look like more real. <laughs> they just look like their skin is real skin. Their skin is like our skin. This is still good makeup. It's just what real skin looks like. And sometimes we need to remind ourselves that most of the photos we're seeing of celebrities on red carpets are retouched. And it was really cool to see people who I think of as being like really, really beautiful and who I still think of as being really beautiful but it was nice to see them with like skin that looks more like mine it was nice to see ariana grande with smile lines like that just like was so nice you know she's still beautiful she's so beautiful and it's still a beautiful picture of her but it was just like great to be like hell yeah yeah we all have texture we all have texture on our skin we all have lines on our skin it's nothing unusual so yeah that post was like a really nice reminder to me to remember that sometimes when you see a photo you have to think in the back of your mind this is this person at their best even at their best might not be their actual best it may be their retouched best and i know it's not realistic <laughs> To ask people to stop retouching their photos because it's just like not gonna happen especially with celebrities I'm sure they probably don't even retouch their own photos I'm sure other people are retouching their photos for them but I think it was just it's a good reminder to remember that those photos are retouched and that they are not perfect just like you more on the topic of skin texture there's a couple people I want to shout out because they're really good about drawing attention to their skin texture. Katie Jane Hughes is one who's really good at taking like super close up zoomed in pictures, like showing you her pores and showing you her texture. And I like that because like the more people that do stuff like that, the more it is normalized. I wanna see more people doing that. I wanna see more celebrities doing that. I wanna see more just regular people doing that. I try to do that, you know, I'm not perfect. I do definitely edit my photos to make me look my best, but I will say I don't use Facetune and I don't use any editing tools that eliminate my texture. I mean, certain filters and certain lighting, certain exposure can make your skin look better, but I try not to do any Facetune, no smoothing or anything because I want you to be able to see my pores. I didn't used to be ashamed of my pores until I saw all these retouched images, you know, and I don't want to get to a place where I'm like ashamed to have skin texture because it's, it's normal. I don't think skin texture makes you any less beautiful. Okay, so I started talking about skin texture, but clearly that is not the only thing that people retouch on their photos. People retouch their bodies as well. And that's one I actually do have a big problem with. Like skin retouching, I understand people don't want it to distract from the look I know certain people I follow, they'll show like the edited version of their face as the first picture and then you can like scroll for the unedited version. And honestly, I like that because I get it. Sometimes like, you know, you're really trying to 
make sure people are focusing on the face. Although I don't think you always have to do that because Kim Kardashian recently released an ad where you could see her skin texture and it had so many likes on it, like in comparison to her other makeup ads. And everybody's comments were like, oh my God, you have skin texture just like me. This is amazing. So like, I don't think you always need to do it for for the ad reasons because I think people like to see real skin, but that's besides the point. Okay, so what I want to talk about now is people retouching their bodies, which as I said, I have a problem with because we live in a society where there is already so much pressure to look a certain way and to have a certain body type. And I know that's why people edit their bodies because they're giving in to that social pressure. But I think that if you have any sort of a platform at all and you have any sort of an audience, like you are just further pushing the narrative that you have to look a certain way. And I think that's incredibly problematic. I've actually unfollowed a few people recently because I could tell that they were clearly photoshopping their bodies and their photos. And I realized that when I looked at their photos and when I saw the way that their bodies looked, one, it's a huge step for me that I'm able to recognize that their bodies are photoshopped. Because if you talked to me 10 years ago when I was 15 years old, I, I didn't realize people were photoshopping their photos. I thought that they were just naturally much skinnier and much more hourglass shapes than I was. But now I'm at a place where I'm like, okay, I, I know it's photoshopped because I've seen your Getty images and I know that's not what you look like. And I just unfollowed them because I realized that looking at those photos did not make me feel good. One, it made me feel like angry for all of the young people that follow them because as I said, at 25, I'm at a place where I recognize these photos are photoshopped, but at 15, I would not have been thinking about it that way. I, it just would have made me feel bad. <laughs> and I know that a lot of celebrities might react and think that it's unfair that they have to set a certain example for younger people. And they might say like, you know, I've heard people say, I didn't ask for this responsibility. You know, I didn't ask to be a role model for these kids, like I can't help that they follow me. And like, I get that, but celebrities are not unique in being a role model for young people because we all are. It doesn't matter if you have kids, doesn't matter if you have nieces or nephews or cousins or whatever, like we all are inevitably role models for people younger than us because they look up to us to figure out what to do next. Like you can't help it. Yeah, they're right. It isn't your responsibility to have to be a good role model for them, but don't you want to be? I think that if I had more people with unconventional body types and people that were more unconventional standards of beauty when I was younger, it wouldn't have taken me so long to be okay with the way that I look. Don't you want to change that by being a good example for kids, you know? Not that you have to be perfect all the time, not that you can't swear, not that you can't dress a certain way, but just don't Edit your body in your photos. It's such an easy thing to do. Just be the body that you are so that people younger than you can see that and know that it's okay and it's nothing to be ashamed of and that you're still beautiful because they're still gonna think you're beautiful in the photos, you know? And again, I think I mentioned it before, but I know that when people edit their photos, they're not doing it for other people. They're doing it for themselves. I saw a photo of Nikita Dragon recently, and I know that she's done a lot of problematic things with her photos as far as stealing from other people's cultures and whatnot, but I just wanna focus on this particular Getty image photo that I saw of her because I noticed that her body looked different than it normally does. And I know she's been very open about having a lot of surgeries and whatnot, plastic surgeries to make her body look a certain way. And I really appreciate her openness about that because I think some people would just like not mention it, you know, and just make you think that they were naturally born with like a perfect hourglass shaped body. So I appreciate her openness and honesty, but I did notice that in her Getty Images photo, her body looked different than it did in real life. And as stupid as you may think I am, that is when I realized that she photoshops her body in her photos and my mind was blown because she still has an incredible body. Even someone who has what seems to be 
the societal standard of beauty in a body type is still editing her body in photos and that just like blows my mind like will we never be happy can we never be happy with what our bodies look like and again i'm not no judgment to her surgeries whatsoever i think she's in, has an incredibly inspiring journey and is a like wonderful voice for the transgender community and for the beauty community but it just like blows my mind that I think she has like what is an attainable body even in that Getty Images photo and she feels the need to Photoshop it. It, just, it makes me sad. I hope and I know she's a little younger than me. I think she's like just turned 21. So I hope that she will get to a place soon where she doesn't feel like she has to do that anymore. And so the people that follow her don't feel like they have to Photoshop their bodies either. Okay, one more thing about Nikita and then I promise I will move on from her. But I forgot to mention that she is pretty open about when she uses Facetune or the fact that, or at least she's pretty open about the fact that she uses Facetune like all the time. So I do appreciate her for that, but I'm curious what your opinion is on it. Do you think that as long as somebody discloses that they've edited either their face or body, it's okay? Or do you think it still does the same amount of damage? Because I'm kind of on the side of like, it still does the same amount of damage. Like it's great that you give that disclaimer that you edit your photos, but you still edit your photos. Every photo you post, we're not gonna instantly think like, oh yeah, of course she edits all her photos. Think about that before you consume this content. Like, no, it's just, it's not how, <laughs> It's not how our brains work, unfortunately. I wanna see unedited bodies. I wanna see unedited faces. I wanna know what people look like in real life because the more we show that, the more normal it becomes for the everyday person and for the young person who is self-conscious about their body and wants to feel not alone and wants to feel normal so badly, you know? You know I I, I think about myself when I was 15, looking in the mirror, hating the fact that I had this straight up and down body, hating the fact that I didn't have an hourglass shape. And if I had seen more people with unedited bodies who looked like me growing up, I think it would have been, it would have been easier for me. I mean, I feel like now I would have it so much worse growing up because at least when I was growing up, we didn't have as much social media or at least social media wasn't as big, so I didn't have Instagram baddies <laughs> to be jealous of. But kids today do, and we gotta, we have to keep that in mind. You have to keep in mind that social media's audience is so, so vast, and kids are getting on it earlier and earlier, and I think you do need to consider your presence for them, you know? Even if you're not aiming yourself towards a young audience, if you're out, on the internet, if you're out on social media, I think you need to keep them in the back of your mind, you know, unless you have an 18 plus page, like you really, you gotta keep the kids in mind. Maybe I'm being unrealistic to think that we can get to a place where people just don't edit their photos and people present themselves exactly the way they are. I started my platform because I wanted to connect with a community of people who also loved makeup and who also loved all things beauty but at the same time, I also started it because I wanted to present myself someone who I think is very beautiful, exactly the way that I am, unaltered for your viewing pleasure. I don't think I am the sole person to diversify the beauty community by any means. I think we have a lot more people of color and people of different sizes who we need to lift up to the very top, put them on the forefront and showcase them more to show that like we are a diverse community of people and we are a diverse world and everyone is beautiful. But I also want to show myself, you know, as somebody who is not a size two and is somebody who does has a very round, not very angular face and as somebody who has pores and as someone who is not perfect and who has hopes and fears and dreams just like you. I just, I want to be a good influence for you. I want you to look at me and see yourself. I want you to be able to see yourself in me and I know that you will not be able to see yourself in me if I retouch myself, if I edit myself, if I cut myself down. How could you possibly see yourself in me if I'm not even me, you know? Oh God. Pretty deep. 
pretty deep stuff. Oh, I'm also gonna link a video by Wayne Goss down below because he blew my mind in this video where he talked about how there are cameras that you can get a beauty filter for so that you can literally smooth your skin in real time in a video and that like blew my mind because I thought that by watching YouTube videos it would be impossible for people to smooth the texture of their skin because you see them without makeup on but apparently they make a filter that can do that. I certainly don't have it. Check these babies out. Look at these pores. Beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. We love them. We're proud of them. We're not ashamed of them but it just blew my mind that there are people out there. He exposed James Charles in particular, which I thought was like really actually pretty terrible because he was doing an ad for a skincare company and he had a filter on his face and you could tell because he moved in a certain way and the filter went off for a second, you could see his real skin and like, that's an actual scam. That is a literal scam that is actually lying to people, telling them that your skin looks a certain way when really it's just a beauty filter. Okay, go go watch that video. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Makeup and Mental Health goes up every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope that we can continue this conversation in the comments and I can hear your thoughts. Remember to tell me how you feel about people disclosing whether or not they retouch their photos and if that makes it okay. Let me know how you feel about retouching in general. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.